What is up, Focus Pulling? My name is Steven, and I run a YouTube channel where I make videos about making videos, and I will be your guest reviewer today. Today, we're gonna talk about my personal experience with the PFY Voice. PFY kindly sent me the mic to test it out and make a video about it, so I've had it for about a week now, Here's my experience with it so far. But for those of you who don't actually know what it is, let me tell you really quickly. The PFY Voice is a small cardioid condenser microphone that can go on top of your DSLR, your phone, or a camcorder. And I actually, before I got this microphone, I did own and still do own a mic very similar to this one, the Rode Video Micro. So that'll kind of be my comparison point for the rest of the video. Okay, really quick, let's talk about the specs of the voice. If you don't care about specs and you just want to hear how it sounds, go ahead and skip to the time on your screen right now. So like I said earlier, the PFY Voice is a small cardioid condenser microphone that goes on top of your camera or really anything else with a shoe. And it has a frequency response from 35 hertz to 18 kilohertz which is nice and wide it's powered by the camera it has no physical buttons and it has one mono 3.5 millimeter output and it also has a negative 38 dbv sensitivity and you can find most of this information on the back of the box when you get the microphone those are the specs now let's take a look at what comes in the box let's check this thing out Okay, let's get a look at the box first. This is the PFY Voice Professional Cardioid Microphone. Compatible with, looks like a phone, tablet, laptop, a DSLR, and a camcorder. Features, compact design, compatible with everything on the front. CNC aluminum construction, no battery required. Professional furry windshield included. Smartphone holder included. Oh, sweet. Ideal for vloggers, videographers, reporter, or hobby filmer. Let's get our first look at it. Here we are. All right, so we have the camera mount, audio cable, phone holder. We got a bag to carry everything in with the PFY on it. And last but not least, we have the microphone itself. Let's see what's under the windscreen though. Okay, now this is a cardioid microphone, which means it can pick up the front and the sides pretty well, but not so much behind. You don't want to hear what's behind the microphone or else your voice just gets too crowded. And also you can see there are two kind of lowered sections of the ring. It looks like I, if I wanted to, I could mount it from back here or from up here. That's pretty cool. This reminds me very much of the Rode Video Micro and just how simple it is and how small it is. So it doesn't require a battery. It only has one output, like one connection to worry about. It just mounts on top of the camera, has a windscreen and I don't have to worry about it. I realized that I just glossed over this earlier, but the microphone comes with two audio cables. One is for cameras and the other is for smartphones. The one for smartphones has one gray side. And uh, now let's get into how this mic actually sounds. So I took this microphone with me to several different locations in Las Vegas, Nevada. And without spoiling much, I do want to say that I am impressed. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, here we are. We are sitting at my computer and I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the footage that I got. So I've had the PFY voice for about a week now and I've put it through a whole bunch of different tests in different environments where I would normally use a mic like this. Testing out the PFY voice on a Canon EOS Rebel SL2. Okay, straight off the bat, I can hear a lot of clipping and I think that's just because this microphone is so sensitive and I had the audio settings in the camera set up for the road. So I wanna blame that on the microphone. I do hear a little bit of noise that's really quiet, um, just like the road would, but I don't think it's the microphone's fault. I think it's the fact that I'm plugging the microphone into a DSLR that doesn't have a very good preamp. I also can't monitor while I'm recording on this particular camera, the Canon SL2, so. I wouldn't be able to tell while I'm shooting and I wouldn't have been able to correct for it. So just something to keep in mind, if you do get this microphone, make sure you test out your sensitivity if you're transitioning from another microphone. All right, I'm out here testing the PFY voice out here hiking with my friend Angel. He actually has a YouTube channel that he is recording a video for right now. So I'm trying to leave him alone. Again, there is clipping here, but I think that's because I didn't check my settings between the clip in my bedroom and this clip on the trail. So that wind was insane that day. We went hiking, uh, it was calm within the trail itself, but when we emerged, we got to see the whole valley the wind was just crazy. So you can hear a bit of wind sound, but I am impressed overall with 
how well it could handle it. Like, it may not sound too good, but believe me, it was much, much worse. If you want to know what it sounds like without the dead cat, well then. Super glad I had that windscreen, and I will say that it was very easy to take off. So on my road, it's kind of like you have to yank it, but this one, I, I could just kind of slide it off like it did in that last clip, so. When it was done, I went down to the Las Vegas Strip, which is a very crowded, touristy area, and I expected to get a whole bunch of noises, and I wanted to see how well the mic would do in that kind of urban environment, so let's check it out. Also, this is where I fixed the sensitivity on the microphone, so it shouldn't be any more clipping. There is something important to note uh, when it comes to microphones like this, no matter what you choose, getting a microphone like this is a huge step in the right direction. Okay, so obviously I need to use a gimbal more or <laughs> just have more steady hands, but that, that doesn't have to do with the audio. The audio sounds great. All right, we're here in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip out in front of the Bellagio Fountains. We got Paris Hotel and Casino just across the way. There are cars, there are people. All right, so pretty clean. I wish I was there a bit later in the day so we could test it with more people, more cars, just more noise. Uh, most of the noise in the shot was just music and you could actually hear my friend talking in the background at one point. So glad we got that, but I wish I could have tested this at a busier time. And I really wish my camera had a headphone jack so I could hear how this sounds right now. So one thing I've noticed on my road is that when I'm trying to get a shot like this, sometimes the music just overpowers my voice. Even if it is coming from the sides or behind, it's not quite picking me up as loud as I'd like to hear myself. I don't know if it's just me or the fact that I'm really paying attention to this, but I feel like I could hear myself more clearly in this clip. The next environment I thought it would be cool to test this mic out in is a skate park. Don't have a mic on me or anything, I just kind of talk and whatever gets picked up gets picked up and I use it. So like in this clip, you'll see me skating away from the microphone and sometimes I'll be saying stuff from like way out here um, and I just hope that it picks it up. This is the ultimate test. Hopefully it'll pick me up from talking way out there. This jacket's not doing me very well. Wow. Sometimes I'll even talk while I'm out here and sometimes picks it up. Honestly, I, you know what? I wasn't really expecting the microphone to hear that, but it did pretty clearly. Wow. That's pretty good. But I did expect it to be oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is really hard on any microphone, but if my rogue could do it, I imagine this one can too. Oh, uh, there's a plane in the background. That was audible. That, I could, dope. You seen this? Yeah, dude, that's crazy. This microphone did pretty well doing what it was designed for. I also tried it for some other things, some unconventional things. I did a podcast with it. That was kind of cool. And I have yet to look at that footage, so I have no idea how well it will do. Hopefully great. I mean, it did great in the field. Podcast should be no problem. But let's get into this mic as I know it right now. Would I recommend this microphone? Mm, yeah. Yes, I would. I totally would. PFY did a great job with the voice, and I feel like it'd be fun to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Rode Video Micro. So maybe, maybe a new video coming out on my channel soon? I don't know. Link down here. And before I wrap up this video, I do want to show you guys. I've been using the mic the whole time. So what you're hearing right now, that is straight out of the mic. I will say I have a giant pillow to help kind of pad it a little bit. This room isn't sound treated or anything, so I feel like a pillow behind the mic is the best I can do that looks good on camera or is invisible to the camera. So I wanna thank PFY for sending me this mic to test. It's been awesome. Focus Pulling, thanks for having me as a guest reviewer. Hope to do it again soon. And um, thanks for watching. Go ahead and check out some of the other videos on the channel. Check out my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.